Hello and welcome to episode two of this new tutorial series. Um, I was told I was a bit quiet in the last video, so I'm going to try to speak a little bit louder. Um, that way hopefully I can avoid, avoid an edit, but uh, today what we're going to do is we're going to be adding an Android project to our shared project. Um, forgive me, I kind of threw out my back a little bit, so if you hear a little uh, <clears throat> wobble in my voice, it's probably because I moved my back and it hurts, and I, I'm doing my best to get this out, but at the same point in time, it ain't going to be perfect today. So, um, okay, so today what we're going to do first is we're going to add the Android shared project, um, and uh, that's fairly simple. Um, and we're gonna we're going to do dependencies actually after that. We're gonna add the assets. So for Android, the big pain for Android is that the assets have to be added separately, and they have to be on, under a different content uh, system. So um, that is the pain for Android, and we are going to handle that. And I'll show you how to do it. It's not a big deal, but it is something that took me a little bit to figure out. Um, so hopefully it'll help you guys. Then we'll get the emulators added. This can be a bit uh, finicky, to say the very least. Um, oftentimes I have to restart my Visual Studios, and I'm just going to put this out there, but the first time I did this, um, I think I burned three, four hours trying to get these emulators um, added and the dependencies working. Both of them can kind of freak out for whatever reason when you add an Android project. Uh, and the solution to that is super simple. It's literally just restart Visual Studios. but um, as if you don't know, then you can waste a tremendous amount of time or even think that you failed and not come back simply because you close it and you just get fed up with it. And that's not what I want for, to happen for anybody. So we'll go over that. Um, because it's Android, we won't have a mouse. And right now we're only showing a mouse. So we'll just display the mouse on the screen so that you can see it working. Uh, and then we'll test it. So that's what we're up to today. Um, yeah, let's get started. So we have our project. Just the same as it was last time. Nothing special about it. We have our desktop part portion, which is our current run uh, project. We have our shared project, and we have our Z engine, which is our engine. Um, first thing we're going to do, like I said, is we're going to add a new project. So add new project. And then if we get into here, take a second. We have an Android application, right? And you can search for it over here. Just you know type in whatever you can see it right here actually um, I'm gonna add it just like the other one we're gonna say RPG tuto tutorial Android A -N -D -R. okay um, super simple nothing special here I hit create it's gonna populate over here um, if all goes well this will be a relatively short tutorial but we'll see how it goes. Okay, so uh, first thing we want to do with Android is we need to go in and then we need to uh, add reference. And we're going to add a reference to uh, our shared project. So we're going to push OK. Um, and then now we're going to go to uh, activity, which is kind of like program, but for Android. Um, and so we're going to come in here. We're going to see if, if this dependency works. If not, then we will need to restart our Visual Studios. Uh, our, okay, it did not take. So that's what I'm trying to talk about. Um, that's what I'm saying is when it doesn't take here, you're going to need to restart. But we're going to we're gonna do the, uh, uh, let's see. We are going to do the assets adding, and we're going to do the emulator before we restart so that it can all kind of take hold at once. So you've seen it work. That dependency literally didn't show up. And that can be super frustrating, but that's OK. We can work through it. Um, we're going to add our content files. So remember, we have this guy. We need to do the same thing in Android. Okay, So we're going to uh, do this whole structure. So content, add folder. 2D, and we're just going to keep doing the whole thing. So we're going to add UI. I like to mirror these. Um, I don't know what else you would do. I mean, if you really don't want to mirror them, you don't have to. But I, you're going to have to, if you don't mirror them, if they're not exactly the same, you're going to have to 
have exceptions for every single file that you add. So I highly recommend that you mirror your structure here. Now, I have not figured out a way around mirroring your structure. So if, let's, let's say, somebody knows something that I don't know, please let me know because this would save me a lot of time if I don't need to do this. If there's some way to get these uh, items to work for Android, I have yet to figure it out. Um, I've seen people claim that it works and then it doesn't. Um, but, you know, hey, somebody has something I don't have, you know, please let me know. You know, it's a community. You guys can help me just as much as I try to help you guys. Um, okay, so we have we have that. Um, I'm going to have to grab the files. Give me just a second. Uh, um, we have content. 2D UI mask cursors. I didn't go to my bin. Do the same thing over again. Okay, so this is literally the same file. Um, this is out of that content area with my bin. Um, nothing special here. Um, there's no magic. It's the same files from the last time. You can just grab the same file from the previous tutorial. Okay, so build action is going to be different, right? It's going to be an Android asset right there. Um, if you do content like you did up here, it don't work. If you don't put this file in here, it don't work. Um, this is something I, 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 I'm not kidding you that held me up for hours upon hours. And I think actually overnight even. Um, and it got me to the point where I'm like, I don't understand why this isn't working. Uh, I had trouble finding this information and I consider myself a pretty good Googler and a pretty good searcher. And I had an extremely hard time figuring out what the heck to do with this. And it's so simple as instead of putting the content, put on Android asset. Okay, done. And then the same thing, copy is newer. So super simple. And yet, if you don't know, all of a sudden, you're stuck. So hopefully this will help you guys not be stuck. Okay, that guy's there. It's the same. We're not going to worry about it right now. Um, and then emulators, there should be a button up here. Open device, Android device manager. Where that is in all this, it's in there. You Google it if you can't find it. Mine's just there. Hopefully it is for you too. Um, but it looks like that. It's a little phone with a little arrow on it. Uh, you click it and then you tell it, yeah, yeah, you can open, blah, blah, blah. Here's what it looks like. Now, you can have a bajillion of these already available. Like, I have all these available. Um, but you, I seem to have to add one every time. Maybe you don't have to. Maybe you know a way around this. That's fine. This is the way I have to do it. So I have to say, new. And then you pick a device, right? So you have this uh, device list. And you have, you know, tons of things that you can choose from. Um, I'm going to... I'm just going to pick, you know, Pixel XL for whatever reason and then say, you know, create. Super simple. Nothing special. It added down here. Um, I already have one. You can see that, but that's okay. You just got to add another one. For whatever reason, you have to do it. Now, you'll notice up here, uh, if we switch it to Android, build from Android, it has no emulators. None. There's none. Why? Oh, I don't know why there's none. But if I restart my, oh, hold on, build it first. So it saves, um, saves everything. I like to push build. You can push, con you know, I think it's control shift save, control control shift F, shift F or whatever it is. Um, regardless, okay, close that down. Um, and then I have to reopen it. Why? I don't know, it's just the way it works. So uh, in here, and reopen it. Super simple. I didn't do anything special. Nothing crazy. Just reopened it. And that should give us um, our emulators, which it hasn't done yet. And hopefully it will give us our framework so using uh, RPG hmm. didn't work 
why didn't you work? Let's check our references, make sure it's there. RPG tutorial. Okay, so our emulator is loaded, by the way. So there's our emulators. They loaded. But we need RPG tutorial for using. So Okay, there it is. Okay, just took a second. I'm like, God, that always works. I don't know why it didn't work. Okay, totally did. Give it a second if it didn't show up. Um, so we need RPG tutorial. Now we can edit this uh, file. So in, instead of game one, our thing is called main, right? It's right here. So we're going to create a main. We can leave the game. It doesn't doesn't hurt anything. And then we got to switch out main here again. So this is uh, essentially the same as... Um, doesn't show up here but essentially the same as program is here so you see program same thing right so we edited program already and uh, we put in main last time activity is essentially main now you're gonna do a lot with this file eventually uh, every Google uh, I assume you're going to be using Google for Android, but let's let's just every Google Play functionality you need, you're going to have to load it through here. Um, and you're going to have to make sure it's available uh, in your shared server, shared uh, shared server, shared uh, project, um, and you're going to have to do um, all the work here that adds the specific Android features. Um, so that's not something we're doing today, but I'm just kind of letting you know if you're if you're adding ads, you're adding whatever it is you're adding into Android. Um, this is where you're gonna have to do it. All right, so very simple. We just change main main done. Right, super super simple. Now the problem we have is that I'm gonna run this, and you can see that it doesn't like the mouse. It doesn't it doesn't care. Uh, it doesn't just pick whichever on here. Pick whatever whatever emulator you want to run. It's going to do this. Uh, it takes a while. Oh, it has an icon there. Well, that's interesting. Uh, it shouldn't have an icon there. We'll close that. I don't. Are we just drawing that icon this time? No. Well, it's the side of the mouse screen went there. That's interesting. So, what we're going to do is do what I, what I actually wanted to do, which was build another one and so we have um we're just going to build a icon and icon and load content very similar to here is we're just going to place it somewhere android can detect mice but it doesn't seem to like the way i do mice at least i uh i haven't tried a mouse and attach a mouse to my uh, android device to even get it really to go but um, it doesn't like detect your mouse moving around the um, emulator so keep that in mind okay so this guy we just create another one we're gonna make it bigger we're gonna like you know buff it up so that it's you know different for whatever reason we just want to see it be different and then uh, we're gonna come down here and we're just gonna draw it And then, um, I don't know, what, like 300, 400, 500, 500. Let's go with that. I'm not sure. We're going to build it. Uh, I shouldn't have closed my emulator. That was a dumb thing to do because now it has to reopen the emulator. Um, and that uh, takes longer than if you just leave your emulator open. But, you know, sometimes we do less than perfect things. You know, so uh, we're gonna give it a second. It may be stuck for some reason. Not really sure what's going on here. Should load just fine. Um, I've never seen it get stuck like this before, but it is feeling stuck. So. Let's uh, give it the old close. All right, so I, I fought with it for a little bit, and it turns out that emulator is bugged for whatever reason. 
So all I did was switch the emulator, hit run. We have uh, this new emulator running. Notice that it's actually on the operating system and it's actually trying to boot now. Um, it was bugged out on my my test version for whatever reason. Now what's going to happen is it's going to crash. And I wanted to mention that. So I wanted you to see it. Um, and the reason it's going to crash is because we added <laughs> our uh, image. But notice we didn't add our effect. So uh, mistakes were made. Um, I try my best to show my mistakes. That way you guys can see them. And hopefully you know it makes your lives a little bit easier. Uh, it can be embarrassing for me, but that's not what this is about. This is about you guys. Um, so, um, we're going to just grab that same file. Uh, not on the desktop, it's in, uh, in here. Content effects. We're going to drag it in to effects. Same thing. We want Android asset. Even for the effect. Everything that would be content is now an Android asset. Um, and now we have our structure that we need. So, I wanted to show that. Um, if you see that that page, it means that something's not lining up content-wise, um, and that is nearly impossible to deb debug because it doesn't tell you. Uh, but when you start seeing that, you're like, "Oh my gosh, I've got my hierarchy out of order. I don't have something added," and you've got to figure out what it is. Um, it's a huge pain in the, bat in the butt because it doesn't debug. It just pops up this something went wrong, right? Some content file went wrong. Um, and that is less than ideal, <laughs> to say the very least. Um, so, um, yeah, so that's that. I'm going to go ahead and run it again. Um, I'm clicking here. You can click, you can set this as your build project and run it also. That's, that's another option. Um, but I just click. So we should have a pretty big cursor right in there. Yeah, that's about the right size. Um, and then just to make sure that it's the right size, we're going to, you know. Huh. Oh, there we go. Okay. It's a different different version than my Android. My Android, this button pops up that. But anyway, okay. So just they're going to make it bigger. Just make sure that it, it's working, right? Let's, let's double it, which will quadruple it, actually. Uh, in total size, and then we're going to run it again. Um, but with that, and this should work just fine, and you should see a much larger cursor um, than you do. Uh, that's going to be the end of this one today, guys. Um, look, if you are enjoying this series at all, uh, and you're getting anything out of it, please, please, please hit that like button. It really helps me out. Um, subscribe if you haven't already, please, um, so you can see stuff coming out um, and lastly share this right there's nothing better you can do for me than to share the video with people who might be interested if they're, look if they're not interested they're gonna ignore it and that's fine I don't have a problem with that um, but you know sharing this and uh, you know hitting that like hitting that subscribe these these are huge things for me um, and for this channel. Okay, guys. Um, thank you so much. I, I hope you found this helpful. Um, this series' job is to reduce your uh, friction into getting into this. And this was something that ran tremendous friction for me. Um, I'm, I'm hoping that this will reduce friction substantially for you guys. Uh, all right. With that, uh, I'm out. Have a great night. And I will see you hopefully pretty soon. All right, talk to you guys later.